Do you invite God into your challenges or do you rather he removes them? It is human nature to want out of any uncomfortable situation. And that is why most of the time we are praying to God to get us out. We want to be out of debt. We want to be out of sicknesses and diseases. We want out of any negative setbacks. There is nothing wrong with that. However, we should realize that sometimes we must go through the fire and God knew this and that is why he says in Isaiah 43 verse 2 that when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you so when you're passing through a difficult moment remember this verse and meditate on it This means that sometimes God lets us pass through the challenges and situations but the good news is that we can invite him to be with us in it and he will deliver us from it Remember the Hebrew boys who refused to worship the idol Let's look at Daniel 3:19 to 23 Then Nebuchadnezzar was furious with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and his attitude towards them changed he ordered the furnace heated seven times hotter than usual and commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie up Shadrach Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace so these men wearing robes trousers turbans and other clothes were bound and thrown into the blazing furnace The king's command was so urgent and the furnace so hot that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Wow. I am sure some of us can relate to this. We have gone through stuff that made you feel like the furnace fire had been heated seven times hotter. And even feel like we have been bound by that issue. bound by debt by financial setbacks and by sicknesses and diseases at times like this we should call on god seeking his intervention by inviting him to be with us in it let him come and do what only he can do in that situation and that is where the miracle is when god steps in they will see the fourth person and they will be amazed The Bible says in Daniel 3:24, then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisers, "Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire?" They replied, "Certainly, your majesty." He said, "Look, I see four men walking around in the fire and bound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods." saints when your victory comes they will swear there was someone else or something else involved and they will be right it was god riding with you through it all how are you doing saints king jesus is alive i get so excited knowing that he loves us and he wants us to be happy he is rooting for us every single day he is our advocate and our intercessor Thank you Lord Jesus for loving us so much and we love you right back. If you are new to this channel, we are about living in victory using the word of God and we only have two options, to conquer or to conquer. If you are ready to conquer too, declare it in the comment section below. Let heaven know that you are ready and hell know that they have lost you forever. Therefore saints, when we are going through challenges, let us keep the right attitude. It is not easy. But instead of focusing on the issue, focus on God and invite him in it. God, I invite you into this situation. Come and be with me just as you went into the furnace to be with Shadrach and his brothers. I know that when all this is over, I will not come out even smelling of smoke. God wants to come into the situation. When you invite him into it, You are actually telling him 
to change the circumstances as well as change you. In other words, you are asking him to help you grow through it. You are telling him to help you increase your tolerance, to change your character, and to increase your faith. And also you are telling him that you want to learn from the situation. God wants it to be a great miracle, and that is why he is not just instantly getting you out. He wants to work with you in that uncomfortable situation, in that fire. He wants to work with you while you are going through the waters. You have been set up by God in such a way that when he gets you through it, nobody can deny that it is him. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Notice he does not say that we shall not pass through afflictions, but instead he says that we shall undergo many afflictions, but he shall deliver us not just from some of them, but from them all. God is waiting for your invitation. Remind him of his promise to be with you. Remind him that he said he shall deliver you from all affliction. God has exalted his word above himself. He shall honor it. Tell him to take you out of the situation and also tell him that you invite him to walk with you in it in that journey. There are people who are going through a lot, but you cannot even tell because they are walking with God while they are in it. So they are peaceful and they are of good cheer. We should declare like David, even so I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Smile in the middle of your storm because you know that he is with you and he is comforting you. So we see that God does not deliver us from every storm or fire. He sometimes takes us through it. The good news is God knows how. And as you go through it, he makes you heat resistant, he makes you fireproof, and he makes you not to drown in the storm. He makes us to come out of it unscathed and without a blemish. The difficult times are not more powerful than our God. Jehovah has the final say over everything. You know, in this life, great testimonies are brought about by great tests. And in order for you to have great victory, you've got to have fought great battles. The words of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego amaze me. They said that they knew that God would deliver them from the furnace. But then again they said that even if he did not, they still would not bow down to the idols. Let us be like them saints. Let us have so much faith in God that we frustrate the devil. Let us give him a mental breakdown. While in the furnace, let us continue praising and worshipping God. Let us be of good attitude and of good cheer. When we keep a good attitude, it gets God's attention. Let us do our part and let God do his will. Avoid being worried and just invite him. As we journey with God, he will help us to develop our character and he will teach us how to love the unlovable. Therefore, let us learn to invite God in all our situations. Look at Paul and Silas. God showed up in their situation and all turned out to be just fine. The prison doors had no choice but to open. So do not be discouraged because the enemy has turned on the heat on you. He may have made it seven times hotter. This is a time to get ready because we are about to see God's power. How can you know if God is a healer if you don't get a health challenge? You can only know his great power if you get a serious affliction. If you are never faced by mountains, then how will you know that he is a mighty mountain mover? You and God are a majority and the two of you are mighty. If you have found value in this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that whenever I upload a new video, you get notified. Please share the video widely as well so that people can be blessed. Until we meet again in the next one, may our good Lord bless you and keep you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.